Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us again for a little more Leonard Skinner. Mm -hmm. This will be our third video of them. We did the studio version of Free Bird, then yes. we came back and did the live version, which was a great experience. Watching them, you know, jam out on those yeah, guitars. Yeah, that was crazy. Which was awesome. Yeah. And uh, they were having so much fun. Yeah, and the crowd as well was oh, having a great time. Wild. Yes. Uh, so if you haven't seen that one, go go check out that video after this one is done. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Glad to have you with us. We hope that you continue along in this journey and hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy yourselves. Um, but uh, Leonard Skinner was, like I said, a very cool, uh, cool introduction mm -hmm. to Southern rock, right? Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of those group members uh, passed away in a plane crash shortly after that performance that so we last sad. watched. Um, but uh, we're going to dive into something uh, else from them here in Simple Man, which is, from what I gather, a really, really popular song and um, has... Uh, you know been deemed a classic from them over time so we're excited to check something else out mm -hmm. um looking forward to seeing if they got some more of that guitar stuff going on <laughs> yeah that was and, crazy and uh yeah it was very very cool but other than that we don't really know much much about what this is about so you ready yeah let's do it let's do it guys What are your thoughts so far? I like it. I think it's kind of cool about how the idea of it's like the you know the mom giving her son advice on like you know the things that matter in life mm -hmm. and how to be happy. Like don't get too caught up and focus on like the small things. Yeah, I think it's a great great message in the mm -hmm. song for sure. Simple man. I wasn't sure really what to expect with the title Simple Man. Yeah. But like you said, um, that great messaging in there. Really, really enjoying the musical components of this one. Um, the guitar, the guitar yeah. obviously, we were saying, like, you know, we're looking forward to seeing what they bring to the table with that. Mm -hmm. um, but even like the bass line that they added in there with that, it's really, really prominent and strong. And I, I think it adds a lot of depth to the song. Mm -hmm. The symbols that are adding in, to, they're adding in there as well, uh, with some of the emphasis going around the lyrics. And, um, I just feel like this this song has a lot of layers in terms of when that when they're bringing in that added guitar in there. Um, yeah, it's it's, it's it, the other thing as well is this vocal. I think this is I like you know Free Bird was was a cool track to listen to, but I think I like I like his vocal more on this, this song. One. Me too. Um, I would agree. Uh, you know, it's also like I know this is probably an earlier 
track of theirs, right? And and uh, I assume they didn't make much music after the plane crash. Um, but this, I feel like, set the stage for a lot of later rock and roll, like, you know, into the 90s and the early 2000s. Like, I feel like they were, you know, setting the standard for a lot of things that maybe these artists learn from because it's got that uh, that feel to it. Not that it sounds any, anything like something, you know, I can put my finger on, but I just feel like this has got this, like, rock sound that has, like, been born into other things. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It definitely would have probably have had an influence on yeah, the things that came like a little bit later. Definitely yeah. did. Too, that they just added in that you know just go straight to no lyrics just add that energy in with it and you know add that guitar in there but it wasn't as obviously as crazy as the as the free bird one that was <laughs> one Get of the most epic wild. ones of all time yeah. probably but i like how they put it in there and and you know it just added another layer to the song that i was already talking about there were so many layers to yeah. i just you know, we talked about the guitars, but I kind of forgot that, oh, yeah, they might add a solo. A solo oh, I know it was coming. I was just waiting for it. <laughs> I, I, I liked it, I was it, like, though. I, it's not going to be a Leonard Skinner song without one after the last one that we did. I, I liked it, though, like, in how it fit in, I feel like, with the messaging of this song. It kind yeah. of told its story with the guitar solo there, that it wasn't overly heavy. It was, this is, like, a seemingly more of a, you know... Um, philosophical kind of song mm -hmm. and so that's what I felt like the guitar solo was <laughs> in some ways yeah no I definitely thought it was fitting I liked it a lot
makes me want to like get a lighter and be like. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they played that in that concert that we watched. Yeah. Is that would have been a cool song to listen to in the concert yeah, I as really well. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I liked it a lot. Yeah, it's much more of a chill song, but still got that like rock feel to it, which was cool. Mm-hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to Leonard Skinner's Simple Man. I enjoyed the song for sure. And uh, if you did enjoy our reaction, you can hit that like button. We really appreciate that. And like I said, if you want to join us for this uh, ride that we're on, we'd love to have you. That's it from us today, guys. We'll be back soon. See you in the next one.